Welcome to another crossover. Mark and Mark here as your host. Let's go straight up to all about the Raptors with that game one result. Tell us how you guys feel. I'm too hyped right now, you but you guys can start. You said Warriors. You said Warriors. Warriors. <laughs> she got you, it right. You said Warriors like, game one. I believe in Explain it. Yourself. Yeah, Explain yourself. Explain yourself. I, what I thought they were going to play small ball, but they're yeah. trying to play the Raptors' space, and that's, that's, that's how they lost. That's one of your key. That you yeah. said, don't play the Raptors' space. Yeah, because the Raptors played the whole 24 seconds. Yeah. And that's 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 their weakness against the Spurs, mm -hmm. against the OKC when they almost lost the OKC, against mm -hmm. the Cavs. Yeah, they slowed the game down. Yeah, and yeah, she was right. <laughs> she <said. laughs> Even for the keys yeah. that I was telling them, just they had to they had yeah. to be great at attacking. Yeah. Like defensively, they were just yeah. as as intense as they should be, yeah. especially mm -hmm. in these kinds of finals. Yeah. And can we just take in Fred Van Fleet? Yeah, he did an amazing what game. game. What yeah. a game for him. Yeah, Danny Green. With the three, with the shots that he finally like yeah. fulfilled, yeah. and like Siakam, Pascal had an amazing game today. What is that? Like for the very first game at a finals yeah. to score, thirty-two to points. Draymond Green. What yeah. does that tell you about Siakam? Like he outplayed the Defensive Player of the Year, Draymond, and technically would have been, you know, I thought it would have been really close between them, but no, like Siakam literally outplayed him from every aspect yeah. of the game. Like, boom. well, Draymond got. He had a decent game. He had 10, 10, and 10. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But he just got outplayed by pass, uh, Siakam. Siakam was too fast for him. Mm -hmm. And it just, it was totally different. Like, uh, for for the Raptors, the mm -hmm. way they guard uh, uh, the the Warriors is they would stop, they make sure they stop Curry and Clay Thompson. Mm -hmm. So every time there's a pick and roll, yeah. they will just go to to Curry and leave the big man alone. Mm -hmm. And then they would just switch if they pass it to the big man. So that's mm -hmm. that's the only reason why they stopped the rap I mean the Warriors because yeah. they made sure Curry and Clay Thompson will have like a yeah. bad game. Yeah. 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 And even so with Marcus Gasol, like defensively a game, a game what a exactly. great game. Like twenty points. Yeah. That's the most that we've ever gone from him too mm -hmm. this yeah. past series. Yeah. So this is great. I mean defensively he was great with his rebound. Like he had what, seven with seven rebounds, yeah. Yeah. so yeah, like just like Raptors in total, just like we just won the glass, yeah. we just won from off the off the glass, which yeah. is really great. So which is surprising because the Warriors actually out rebounded us thirty eight to thirty six. Yeah. So yeah. it was it was surprising to see how well we did. Yeah, because if, if you look at the numbers, the, the Warriors had more assists, the uh, they had more rebounds, mm -hmm. and what killed them literally was just turnover, the tur turnover. Yeah. But then we were able to, re to to transition from the turnovers yeah. and everything, which was good though. And like, that was a right? key. Like I yeah. mean, if to be to beat the Warriors. So you have to understand their game yeah. is they're really good at scoring, but then yeah. they're also good they're also good at turning the ball over. Yeah. And that's something that they can't waste in terms of turning the ball over yeah. and converting that into points, which is what exactly what the Warriors did. Uh, I mean the Raptors did, right? Uh, talk to me about this game because Kawhi was quiet this whole game. I mean he had his twenty point game. Like yeah. Yeah, 20, he gets that just yeah. a quiet He, he gets that with his yeah. you know on his sleep. Talk about the game, like you know, uh, the team. Because it was I think it was a team Effort win. If it you was look at for it. sure. Yeah. From the bar, from the top to bottom, from the starting five to the bench, yeah. like. Can well, we they can't forget Lowry too. Like yeah. he's the one that helped with this team, exactly. right? So defensively, we, defensively, he, defensively, yeah. he was great. He was there. I mean, Especially like when like I, what when was it? Like he took he took all the charges and yeah. everything too, right? So like he just stood there, planted his feet and everything, yeah. took it defensively. Yeah, yeah. Even with that block too, mm -hmm. that was great too. Pascal Siakam's block as well. Yeah, so just yeah. overall defensively as a team, we've just been really intense, which has been amazing. Mm -hmm. How consistent? Okay, how is this something that they can reproduce again on game two? Because remember, la, uh, the only thing that we know that's consistent is Leonard. Yeah. How yeah. can can they reproduce the same kind of effort, the same kind of result that we're getting? I don't know if we're gonna get another thirty-two points. Well, we have a lot of like a lot yeah. of bench players, mm -hmm. and the Warriors don't have any. They have yeah. like a bunch of like they're young six, guys. if anything. Yeah. They're six deep, if mm -hmm. anything. Yeah, yeah. Just yeah, basically just basically six deep. Yeah. You know, Cousins is doing. Like, you can tell he's still injured. <laughs> he, he's still, he yeah. still needs yeah. to get back into yeah. it, uh, which is scary because we don't know how fast he's going to get into it. Yeah. Uh, so does this tell us that, like, the Warriors does need Durant to really win, to have a chance against the, us? Like, for some reason now, we, we seems like we're not the underdog if you really look at yeah. that game. They just need to figure it out. Uh, I feel like, yeah, now that they understand it, because yeah. they're, they're smart, they're... Collectively, we have the IQ, mm -hmm. but like individual players on Golden Seed have that high IQ, right? Yeah. Remember, they're, they're a team of high caliber, right? So mm -hmm. they will make those adjustments. It's just a matter of us playing 
much more intensely. So we can do the same thing. We can re be able to reproduce it, mm -hmm. but now there might be the chances of them exposing us at mm -hmm. some points where they might like attack more, or you know, they might, you know, um, they might be able to shoot outside more. Like clay has takes shots mm -hmm. that it's like so unrealistic, but still yeah. gets them in, right? Mm -hmm. Same with Curry, right? So. Yeah. It's just a matter of them, it's just a matter of us being so defensively intense even more yeah. for the next like couple games. And I, I, I think this is um, the way the Raptors played the Warriors and how they defended that three. I think this is the best they, they've ever been guarded. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. The Warriors, they, if they, they took it, over yeah. every time. Which is exactly how you roll, defend. Yeah. This is exactly how you defend yeah. Curry and Clapton coming off the screen or coming off yeah. a pick and roll because that allows them to have to give up the ball automatically the moment that double the hedge comes after that screen. Mm -hmm. And that's something I don't think any of the teams back in and West have done perfectly or yeah. as good no. as what the uh, the Raptors did. Yeah. I don't know if uh, Nick Nurse thought of this. Yeah. I don't know who gave him the strategy defensively, yeah. uh, but this was brilliant because he always really too. he makes adjustment every single yeah. round. Yeah. And yeah, just Warriors' weakness is basically just like a team that has two big men from yeah. say OKC, yeah. the three on one, they just blew it, and then the Spurs, mm -hmm. and then uh, the Cavs is basically it's a different type of scheme if they change it but mm -hmm. I, I give a shout out to Masai yeah. because they for getting Kawhi yeah. putting this this players that are selfish players together, together. Kawhi just yeah. he was basically just playing going with the flow until yeah. the fourth quarter that's yeah. what he usually do he yeah. doesn't care who takes the shine yeah. and all that stuff yeah. and that, this is just a perfect team and even know. in every press conference Kawhi is always the type of like I'm not yeah. about taking 50 points it's just a matter exactly. of winning. playing yeah. the game and winning that's mm -hmm. it this, yeah. it has to be a t it's like that's what it is it's a collective effort, right? And yeah. that's what it is. And that's like, you know, Kawhi has put in his effort and he's put in his input now. It's just like, yeah. do we do the same? Like, now that I'm thinking, it's just like, now do we expect more from Kawhi the next game, even though mm -hmm. we know that Golden State's going to give us more of an intense game? Mm -hmm. So do we expect 40 from him or do we do the same thing and just mm -hmm. give everyone the ball, right? Mm -hmm. Feed all, like, get the ball movement and everything. I feel like the strategy is going to be the same in terms of how to defend the Warriors. Yeah. We don't know if we're going to get the same amount of production from, from Pascal Siakam, but. It's good to get us 32 points from yeah. him, and we hope that it's, the rest of the team can also contribute the same amount of consistency. What do the Warriors need to do next? Like, what do they need to adjust in terms of how they can, if they are to try to steal a, uh, a game from uh, home? Don't put the, Cousins in. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Basically, the bench players need to step up. Yeah. Uh, yeah. The Draymond Green needs to play better defense. Yeah. And basically, the Raptors are basically the Avengers of, yeah. <laughs> of the East. Because they have Marcus on, take on yeah. Ibaka. Yeah, Danny Green, Kawhi, yeah. playing together, who yeah. all played against the Warriors in the Western team. So yeah. it just basically they know how to play against the Warriors. So yeah. it's just like yeah. very very smart role players yeah. that understand it, right? Yeah. So I just well, I think yeah they just need to bring Durant back. <laughs> they want to oh, really? if they want to get it you know get yeah. it close. They have a chance to win the, the series. Yeah, it's but so it just with early. Durant you just capitalize the yeah. The it's so early in the game, I agree. Yeah. So. Doesn't matter. Robbers are still going to take it. <laughs> yeah. So we're all happy that that game oh, one was exactly yeah. how it it's turned It's a good out. first step, if anything. Like awesome. we couldn't, have, like what we said, we can't afford yeah. to lose game one, right? So. I agree. Yeah. Awesome. Well, I hope you guys enjoy that. All about the Raptors. Let's go Raps game one. And before we end the show, any last words you want to say? Uh, be sure to check us out on Panoi Balance. And yeah, I'm just like, Let's just go. <laughs> <laughs> so excited. So Any excited. last words, James, before we end the show? Uh, just check out the website, pinarcrossover.ca, and check out contents with basketball. So, yeah. Awesome. I hope you guys enjoyed that game and this episode. And other than that, stay balling, everybody. <laughs>